Hey, what's going on guys? Beef Latin here with a brand new video today. Today we're going to be talking about an Ash of War that is absolutely insanely overpowered. It is called uh, Deadly Bloom uh, Strikes Twice or De Poison Bloom Strikes Twice. I don't remember the name heart, uh, word for word, but uh, to get there, Temple Town Runes is going to be the site of grace that we are starting from. You can reach here through the Ancient Runes base. You start off by reaching there by the Morth Runes. You're going to end up going into this area up here with some glowing worms. It's going to eventually take you to the runes base, which will eventually lead you to the Temple Town runes. From the Temple Town runes set of grace, we're going to be going north, and we're going to be taking a little bit of a weird pathway to get there because there are a lot of these rotted priest enemies, and they are frankly extremely annoying. So we're just going to go ahead and go around those ones. If you want to go directly there, you can go through uh, the left-hand side there, but I'm going to go around because I don't want to aggro uh, all eight or nine of them. So we're just going to go around this way. And once you see this little grave site over here, there's going to be a scarab that is going to be floating over this little poison pool. And we just go ahead and take out the scarab, and that is where... The poison flower blooms twice. A little bit of a mouthful. That's why I didn't remember it off by heart. <laughs> uh, it sits right in this location here from the Temple Town Rune site of Grace. Pretty much just a straight shot north. But yeah, I went around just so I could avoid those rotted priests. Because they hurt with their uh, Threadpest uh, Spear spell. Let's go ahead and talk about the uh, Ash of War that we just picked up, shall we? So... This uh, can be applied to all melee armaments that is able to uh, wield it. It is a FP cost of 14 only, and it is a flying kick attack. It's a kick that when you make contact with the enemy, it makes a uh, plume AoE around the uh, enemy, which also does increase damage as well. And both of these attacks also do stance damage, so you can stagger your enemy. Now... The other unique thing about this is that this does count as a kick. So if you're using things like the Divine Bird Warrior Greaves or the Shatterstone Talisman, it will get boosted by both. So it could be a little bit stronger uh, than it is normally. It is a lot of fun, has a great move set, and is insanely overpowered if you invest into it. In fact, I do actually want to make a build around this, and hopefully I get to uh, do that uh, over the weekend. Um, and also be able to post a build soon so I can show you exactly what it does. Go ahead and grab this item. You won't regret it, and I will see you guys in the next video. My name is B. Flatten, and I'm signing on out of here. Take care, all. Laters.